Hey everyone, I'm here with Sheng from the engineering team who's gonna show you a incredible demo on the new uh, test coverage suite. Sheng, introduce yourself. Thank you, Rory. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sheng from VS Code Java team. So uh, in April, uh, we unveiled test coverage support in our Java extension, and which is a highly anticipated feature by our community. So uh, test coverage measures the percentage of code covered by the automated tests, and it ensures the code quality detects untest spark, and it increases the confidence in software reliability. So today, I'll demonstrate how to execute Java test cases with coverage in VS Code. And additionally, I'll show you how to harness the GitHub Copilot extensions AI capability to generate tests and thereby enhancing our test coverage. Okay, so you've got an incredible demo set up. I'm gonna take myself off camera. Over to you, Sheng. Okay, uh, so uh, firstly, uh, to in order to use the coverage feature in VS Code, please make sure that your VS Code version is at least 1.88. I'm now on 1.89.1 now. And also, please remember to update your uh, extension pack for Java to the latest version, and as well as all the included extensions here. So today, the project I'm going to use to for the demo is the Spring Pet Clinic. This is a, a Spring open source project on GitHub. Uh, you can download or clone it. Uh, I've already imported it into my VS Code. So first of all, where is the UI entry to trigger the test with coverage? So, so to do that, you can go to the testing panel. And uh, in this explorer, uh, you can first see this button named Run Test with Coverage at the navigation bar. If you click on it, the extension will run all the tests in the workspace with the coverage. And also inside the Explorer, all the Java test item, no matter it's uh, project level, package level, class level, or method level, you will also find this shortcut here. And if you click it, uh, the extension will run the test with coverage for this specific test case. And if we go to the editor, you can see in the gutter area, there, there are some green play button shortcuts. If you right click on it, you will see the menu item run with coverage. This is another UI entry we can use to trigger the coverage execution. So now let's click it and let's run the coverage for the test class validator tests to see what will happen. Okay, so the test execution is finished. Uh, so we can see there is a new Explorer appear here. Let me expand it. So here, the Explorer lists all the package and Java source files with the coverage data. And uh, depending on your code imp implementation, each Java source file can have at most three different kinds of coverage, which are the statement coverage, the function coverage and the branch coverage. And if we expand the Java source file, you can see all the covered and uncovered method lists as its children. And if we go to the uh, related Java source file, you will see there are some color decoration for the line number where the red means uncovered, uncovered statement and green means covered. And you, if you hover on those decoration, you can toggle the inline coverage details and the details will tell you more information like this statement was executed three times. So we can turn off it. Okay, so now let's take the person.java file as an example. So. From the information here, we can see that this two, this two setters have been covered, but we also have two getter methods, which is not covered. So now I would like to leverage 
the GitHub Copilot extension to help me generate more test cases for these two uncovered methods and increase the test coverage. So what I'm going to do is I will first uh, right click in this editor and select source section and generate tests and select unit five as the test framework. And let's let's generate the talk, uh, test class to validate her tests and uh, select the method to test. So we will first generate the test for uh, get first name. Yeah, confirm. Okay, so here you can see uh, this handy feature help us to scaffold our test method, but for now the method is empty. So we need to generate some content. And uh, you can see in my editor, it, ap it appears some gray inlay suggestions. This suggestion is provided by the GitHub Copilot extension. Uh, the extension analyzes the context of the code and generate the whole test method for us. And I can simply accept this, the suggestion by one click. Okay, so now we over, we've already add a test method for git first name. We still have another method to test, which is git last name. So uh, this time I want the GitHub Copilot extension help me to generate the entire method, not only the method body, but also the method signatures and uh, the uh, test annotations. So what I'm going to do is I open the GitHub chat panel, and then uh, I'll ask request it to generate a test case for git last name. And here is the result. You can see the GitHub Copilot chat extension help us generate the entire test method here. So I'm going to simply insert it and save. Okay, now we have both two uh, new test cases added in the valid tests. So then let's take a look. Currently the person.java test coverage is at uh, 66 percentage. So now let's rerun it to see the result. Yeah, so you can see the result is as, as expected. Now all the test methods, all the methods are covered, which is great. So this is how we can run the test coverage in Visual Studio Code. And additionally, we also have some settings you can use to customize the coverage feature. So to do that, you can go to the setting page and search the keyword coverage. And you will find some settings related with coverage. Basically, there are some settings related to the UI. So you can, for example, this setting configures the colors used for percentage in test coverage bars. So you can customize this by your own. And also on the java.test.config setting, we introduced a new uh, field named coverage. And inside it, you can use the append result to customize your coverage execution. So by default, it's, its value is true, which means all the coverage data will be appended across all the coverage execution. And if you turn it to false, our extension will help you reset the coverage data before launching the coverage execution. Yeah, so, so these are the demo I want to show you about how to run Java test coverage in Visual Studio Code. That was so awesome, Sheng. Um, I, I can't wait to actually get my hands um, and, and do some testing. Um, now, but we have a call to action for the people out there, though. So, of course, there is, how do we, how do we download it? Okay, so 
the extension pack for Java. Um, and, and it's as simple as that. They just download it, and then they've got the, the testing, and they start writing their tests. And it, it's great also if they have a co-pilot license. Um, they, they can go in, and it's free for students and free for NGOs. Um, but also, we want them to contact you. So I understand also you've got a, um, a link that they can uh, tell you about their experiences and help you better it and also get through to you. Um, so yeah, do you want to bring up that link though? Everyone get the, their smartphones out though, because I know it's a QR code, and then we can uh, snap it away. Yeah, so at the, at the end of the video, you can see a QR code. So please take a moment to scan it and complete a survey. Uh, your feedback on the test coverage support and your overall experience with Java development in VS Code is invaluable to us. Great. OK, thanks so much, Sheng. It's been a, an incredible insight into that. And I love the fact that you did this live coded, which is it's always scary, but it's, it's great, though. So from me, Rory Pretty, thank you, everyone. And cheers. Sheng, over to you thank to you. say goodbye. Thank you. Cheers, bye everyone. Bye.